The next word is vision. Vision is shorthand for the destination or condition or the space that you are holding for somebody else to encounter. And if you don't sell vision, what you will tend to sell is a combination of pain. Most sales training talks about selling pain <clears throat> or domination. And when you sell pain, you sell domination because of customer or an employee or the person that follows you has to choose to submit and admit something about who they are or their condition in order to engage what you're offering. If on the other hand what you're doing is saying here's this place we're going to go to here is a better condition so Jesus says I am the way Paul says follow me as I follow Christ and there's this idea that you're going to a place and if you focus on that, you can stay clean and you can let the work of what that place is worth and how it affects somebody do its own thing. The alternative to that is to get caught up in somebody else's head trash, shortcomings, smaller pains, or the distractions and doubts that go with what it means to take a worthwhile journey. So. What vision is, is the courage to hold a focus on a thing that is beyond and endures the yeah buts, uh, the misgivings of what somebody who's following you might think, <clears throat> and holds a focus on the value that comes at the end. So if you engage this plan I have for you, or this path to this place, you will encounter uh, an outcome worthwhile. The real distraction is to focus on less than that. And part of what makes that distraction so tempting is a lot of people are coming in with, oh, daddy wounds or head trash or other things that it feels really good to engage that person where they are and assure them. And there's a, there's a complimentary word to this whole thing called bless or blessing that says, if I'm the one who tells you you're pretty, will you believe it? If I'm the one who tells you you're good enough, will that stick? And it feels good to be able to offer a blessing so potent that a person believes it and holds on to it. The problem, though, is that in most instances, our pain isn't about our dad. It's about our father. We have a desire to know God. And when people who are in a leadership position bless effectively in a way that that is for God to do and not for us to do when we engage somewhere in the pain rather than in the vision and in the destination if we're successful and the person that's following us buys it and builds on that all we've really done is we've sold an idol we've sold a promise and and something about the potency of our words that God has to go back in and pull the weeds on. And then he's pretty faithful to destroy idol makers and to destroy idols because what he's after is the people. And he's most interested in reconciling with those people. And very often, the pain that they're already experiencing is exactly the work he's already doing to give them freedom from old lies to meet that that thing that's carried in the vision and in the destination. And when we engage in something short of that, in the distractions, we don't actually bless or make things better. We very often become impediments. And when we engage in the selling of pain, we engage in distraction. And when we engage in distraction, we lose vision. And when we lose vision, we lose value.